my name's Amanda and happy Easter! Now before we get started I just want to apologize for not putting out a video this past Wednesday. I had a really cool very cute Easter craft that I wanted to do but as I was filming it it just completely failed. Nothing was working. I just didn't like what I was making so I gave up which is never a good thing but it happened. I didn't really have the time to try it again so I just left it and thought I would do two videos for you this weekend. The first is this one and then tomorrow I'll be doing my monthly favourites. So in today's video I wanted to share with you my top five craft slash sewing books that I have in my library. A few weeks ago I shared with you my top five quilting books and that video went down really really well. I've been having some really great conversations with all of you about books that you've been recommending me as well as the books that I have recommended to you and I've just been absolutely loving the way that we've been communicating about the different books that we love and the different books that we've found and I just wanted to continue on that conversation with these books. So like I said, the books that I'm showing you today are crafting slash sewing type ones. There's no quilts in it, I've already showed you my favourite quilting books, but these ones have like different sewing projects and other different types of sewing crafty type of things. I don't know where I'm going with this, I'm just going to get into it. So in no particular order, the first one I'm going to show you is this one. It is called Doodle Stitching by Amy Ray and it has some of the most sweetest embroidery motifs in it that I have ever seen. They are so, so cute. Not only does it have embroidery templates in it, it also has like little projects you can do with them or incorporate them in. It also comes with like a little CD that you can put into your computer so you can print out the patterns that are in the book. At the front it goes through absolutely everything that you need to know about embroidery. It goes through all the basic embroidery stitches, goes through all of the tools that you need. And I I just find it a really good book to go back to just sort of just refresh my skills on some of the stitches that are in here. I quite often get questions from you guys about the different embroidery stitches as well as tools and fabrics that you would need as a beginner and sometimes I refer back to this book just so I'm giving you the right sort of information that you're looking for. Continuing on with the embroidery theme, the next book that I absolutely love is this one. It is called Push Stitchery. It's not an actual instruction type book, like it doesn't have patterns or anything in it, but it is full of different embroidery artists who are cutting edge and push the limits on stitched or embroidered type of art or textile art. And it's a book that I refer to when I'm feeling like I need some inspiration. The artists that are featured in here push embroidery and machine embroidery to the limits. The creations that they make are innovating and inspiring and just some of the stuff that's in here goes to a level which I would never thought possible. For example, there's an artist in here who does cross stitch on like cars and metal and on like spades and stuff like that which is just crazy. And then there's another one by Louise Riley and she does these really cool installation art type pieces with embroidery and they're just incredible. I mean like I could never think that embroidery could go this far and they just push the limit of textile design and embroidery design and that's what I absolutely love about this book. So moving on to something a little less serious and a little bit more fun, the next book up that I love is this one. It is called Softies. I first picked this one up a couple of years ago, I think when my first nephew was born and that was like 07, 08. So I've had this one in my collection for a while. I have actually made one softie out of this book and it's this one. Her name is Polly. When I made her I didn't put the little ears on her, I just made her as like a doll and she was pretty easy to make. But there are plenty of other projects in here that are really really cute really great for kids if you have a lot of young children in your life and you want to make them things. I think if you're someone who is just getting into sewing and making cool type softies or plushies this is a really great book for you to pick up. Because you are sewing you're getting experience on the sewing machine, you're getting experience using patterns and cutting out shapes and then sort of appliquing and stitching them onto another piece. So I guess the point that I'm getting to is that if you want to get into sewing and you just want to sort of fine up your skills before you sort of start attempting quilting or other crafting type projects, this is possibly the best way to go and you're making something really, really cute. Yeah. 
Some of you might know this little fact about me, but I am a huge lover of Kath Kidson. She is one of my most favorite designers. I absolutely love everything that she does. I love all of her products. I love the fabrics she uses. I love her aesthetic. And this next book is actually the first time I ever discovered her. And when I saw this book in my local bookstore, I was all like, whoa! This is like me in a book. I absolutely love it. And it is this. It is called So by Kath Kidson. I would definitely categorize this book as a craft book. It does have a lot of sewing stuff in it, but it's a lot of crafty type sewing. So there are some really cool projects in this book. I'm going to show you one of them that I've made. I think it's in this book. It's a little hot... Oh, there it is. It's a hot water bottle. It's called a quilted hottie. It was a really simple, easy project to make. It was quilting related but it was still something different from making a quilt and I really really love that. When I first picked up this book I fell in love with all of the projects that are in it. There is a quilt in it, there's a wall hanging, there's that quilted hottie that I showed you, there's like an apron, there's everything that you could think of that you could easily sew and put in your home. So I think if you're looking for a book that has a mixture of different type of sewing crafts that you can do, this is definitely a great one to get. And if, like me, you're a huge lover of Kath Kitson and everything that she does, this is a great book to have in your collection. Oh my gosh, I love it. The last book that I'm going to show you is the most recent craft slash sewing book that I have bought. And it's this one. It's called Learn to Sew with Lauren by Lauren Guthrie. And it is the chick that was in the first season of Great British Sewing Bee. And she was actually one of my favourites. So when I saw this on the shelf in one of my local bookstores, I had to get it. And it also has a lot of information in it about dressmaking, which is actually something I've sort of been getting into quite lately. When I first started quilting, I didn't like dressmaking at all. But over the last six months or so, I've actually been really getting into dressmaking. And in this book, it has lots of different techniques to dressmaking that I don't really know a whole lot about. Like, I know about them, but I don't have the skills or the technique down yet. The different dressmaking techniques that she goes through are like seams, like French seams, plain seams hidden seams is that a thing i don't know learning how to insert a zipper how to do cuffs also how to do like binding around armholes and neck holes these are all the different sort of techniques that i'm actually really interested in, in learning and sort of being able to sort of accomplish when i was flicking through it in the store there were just projects in there that were sort of capturing me and i just like the way that the book was laid out and that it just had some really great chapters based on the different techniques that i wanted to learn and yeah it was just a book that was sort of calling to me at that moment you know so there is my very rambly top five craft slash sewing books that i have in my library if you have any favorite crafting or sewing books in your library that you would like to share with me, comment down below and we can chat all about them. Like I said at the start of the video, I've been having some really great conversations with you guys about the books that you love and I'm just really, really enjoying the communication thing that we have going on here. Now, if you didn't see the video I made where I chatted all about my top five quilting books, there is a link on the screen now and also down below in the description box. And of course, if you are new to my channel and would like to see more of the things that I do here, subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye. Should I, should I do it again? I don't know. No. Stop it. It is called Doodle Stitching by Embroidery by oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, continuing, continuing, that's a really hard word to say. Continuing. So moving on to something I am recording, yes. Actually, no, that's a lie. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Quirk? No. But I am a pure hmm. like Guthrie? Guthrie. So the different. Uh, so the. So the. Uh, what is that noise? I don't know what that horrible noise was. I hope it wasn't my camera.